Oh, Nelson. A sad day. Welcome back, everybody, to Mission 30 on the British Campaign here on Atlantic Fleet. And I've been listening to your advice, and a bunch of you have had some advice on how we should proceed. And as we're going into this mission against the Sharn Horse, Admiral Hipper, the Blucher, and some freighters, I thought it would be a really good time uh, to do a couple of things. And number one is that we are going to go in and buy that illustrious aircraft carrier. So let's go ahead and do that. we just got to go ahead and find it. And I think we'll go with the Victorious. I like the name. Let's go ahead and buy the Victorious. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our first submarine. Uh, so I've got to go ahead and look. I don't know which of the submarines is the way to go. But this is a good time to buy one. I, I, need to, I haven't really... Actually, I've never used the sub, so... Uh, this is going to be my first time using the submarine, so it's, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve involved, but that's okay. Uh, so Triton class, our 4200 Renown, looks like that's the only class I've got, so it's just really about finding the right name. Um, Telemachus, I like that. Telemachus was a, uh, a monk who was given credit for putting an end to uh, the gladiator contests in the Colosseum. It's a long story, but it's one I'm very familiar with. So, all right, our fleet is full. So I guess we've actually got to go back and get rid of something. Um, Achilles it is, because honestly, I don't really see a need for Achilles moving forward. So what do we do? We just release all selected ships from command. Yes. May repurchase. All right, there we go. So now we're going to buy the Telemachus. love that name that's awesome that we get to do that all right so we're gonna take lion victorious and telemachus and this will make it a bit of a challenge but i'm up for the challenge so let's dive in all right so let's see what we're facing here telemachus is actually right over here uh, by the other ships while Lion and Victorious are back here. So uh, my main concern, of course, is that Victorious gets nailed uh, by enemy fire. We don't want to see that happen. So uh, let's go ahead and start turning Lion into position. And we want to go after the battleship first and take that thing out as quickly as we possibly can. But actually, Scharnhorst is pretty far away, so that might not be ideal. Is that Sharn Horse back there? It is. All right, we'll make it work. 13.5 is what it's suggesting to start. I feel like that's going to be short. But we'll see what happens. No, oh, that was actually pretty dead on. Nice first shot. All right, let's pull Victorious back behind as best we can we're not firing we're gonna launch some bombers okay so here's our sub now brand new to this so this is gonna take some time for me to kinda of figure out but I really wanna go after one of his warships All right, I guess we can fire torpedoes this way, can we? All right, cool. So uh, this will take some time, obviously. What's it telling me? We're at periscope depth, so we got to be careful. Um, what's it telling me for torpedoes? 316. Oh, I can't go at that angle. We're just going to have to do our best from here. But we'll do a nice spread here. Because I think we could probably take out multiple ships. That's about as good as we can do. Let's 
Take me some time to get used to using the subs. Or as long as Sharn Horse fires at Lion and not at my carrier, I'll be happy. Gonna be a lot of shells coming at Lion. Boom. Nice. Got one on him right off the bat. I probably could have hit him multiple times. It's alright. It's a good start. Okay, so 13.6 was actually pretty dead on, but he's act he's gotten closer to me now. Why would it go to 14.5? That makes no sense whatsoever. Because he's actually gotten closer. So I'm going to keep it right where it is. Yep, we're getting a little long now, so we're going to have to shorten it next time. Alright, let's get these planes in the air. Next turn, we'll be able to start dropping some. Uh, bombs on these guys. Alright, so we're still facing that way, which means the angle's still no good, really. But we've got four more torpedoes left. I think we could probably take out this ship if we play our cards right. Let's just hit them three times, shall we? And we'll throw one over that way. And then we'll be out of torpedoes and we'll be able to get that sub out of there. Oh yeah, we're going to get a couple hits here. Hey now, he's going to get some too. are going to miss. Now oh, we got a couple more hits on him. All right. So, Sharnhorst, now we're saying 11.2. I'm going to go about 11.5. Oh, I was just still a little short. Darn it. I should have known better. Alright, we're going to start dropping our bombs now. I'm going to try to finish off the Blucher. They've already taken some torpedo hits. Actually, not much damage to show for it, though. All right, here we go. Oh, I dove too soon. Darn it. The angle's different with these planes. All right. They dive at a much steeper angle. So, lesson learned. That's all right. I'm going to disengage our sub now because they're out of torpedoes. This is going to end up being a tougher fight than I want. But I expected that when I went with what I decided to. Taking out a sub. Sub just didn't do enough damage. With those torpedoes. And we're taking a decent amount of damage on the lion right now. We're going to have to nail, nail him with... Oh, we just missed out in front with those torpedoes. Gonna have to nail him with some of these bombs. Our main spotter and our main radar are out. Alright. So three was 11.5. That's actually about where we want to be now. Because he's gotten closer. Oh, we're still a little short. Darn it. That hurts. 
All right, we gotta nail him with these bombs. I can't believe those torpedoes didn't do any damage. All right, gotta go for a much steeper angle this time. Now, there we go. Oh, he got me! Darn it! All right, maybe we go for the Sharn Horse. Maybe they're. NI air is not as good. Oh, that hurt. This is turning into a bit of a challenging mission. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just not used to it. Oh, boy. Lion's taking a beating right now. How are we doing here? No more damage than before. I think we'll go slightly shorter. Oh wait, I wanted to go longer, not shorter. Uh, what was I thinking? Okay. Let's come in from behind on the Scharnhorst. I uh, still might not have gotten the angle right. Oh, I gotta wait a little longer. That thing dives so steep. Ooh, that hurt. Really taking some poundings now. Mm. See what the damage situation looks like. Actually, not bad. We got things repaired that weren't looking good before. We're going to switch it up here go after the more convenient target. It might take me a little time to zero in on him. Ah, a little long. Darn it. But I could light him up in a hurry if I can nail him. Is he taking any damage? Propulsion and steering. Okay. We gotta wait. So we're nice and overhead. There we go. Uh, still not quite there. Man, I gotta get better at this. This is not working. We're just pounding, <laughs> pounding the the tip of the thing. Really requires a lot of patience on those dive bombs. Oh. Boy, he's a whole lot more accurate than I am. That's that's what I get for giving him the uh, elite gunnery. He is not missing right now. Really could have just used three battleships on this one. I would have, would have been much better off. All right, so last time... 8.5, and we're way past Admiral Hipper now. Is a lot closer than that. Actually, 6.1 is probably pretty accurate. Oh, way too short. Dang. Not a good day. Not a good day for me at all. Some adversity never hurt anybody, though. We can use the adversity. We need to nail this guy. Flax brutal. All right, now. Nice. 
That's the hit I needed. Oof. Oh, we got the Sharn Horse with those bombs. Nicely done. Alright, the biggest threat's out of the way. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods, though. At all. Ooh, especially with that. Good thing he doesn't have any planes. The lion's got three stars of uh, experience, so the last thing we want to do is lose lion right now. So we want to go a little more than 6.1. 6.4 actually seems probably pretty good. Oh, still too short. I'm wasting so many shots. Okay. A good hit here could really wreck these guys. Considering what we did to Sharnhorst. I dropped those a little early. They're gonna miss. Darn it. I gotta aim for the front. If I'm gonna drop them early, I'm just getting gun shy with his anti aircraft. Oh, poor lion. I'm gonna be in trouble if he takes Lion out. Okay, 6.4. Let's go about 6.2. I think we've got him. Nice. Um, okay. Too far on the back, but it's going to be a hit. <sighs> He's definitely listing. Well, not listing. He's definitely taking on water in the rear. Oh. He didn't fire on me that time. Admiral Hipper lost its in aircraft fire. That's actually huge. We're going to go after Blucher. Oh, 6.9 is too long. 6.2 is the way to go here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. He's pretty close to going down. Taking on a ton of water. I got one bomb left. And he should be without an aircraft. <laughs> right, we still got some. Finish him. Finish him. Yes. Bye bye. This, oh, now he fires a star shell right when he's about to die. Alright, we were dead on last time. 
He's moved toward me a little bit, so we'll, we'll, we'll drop it a little bit, but not too much. I guess we gotta aim up front because the middle and the rear are pretty much torn up. We gotta recover our planes now. Alright, Lion, just hang on. How did we do last time? It was pretty well dead on. We're gonna fire that same. distance, but we're going to aim up front a little bit. Got him. Nice. That just leaves the three freighters, which I think we can... There's supposed to be a way you can do this. I haven't figured out what it is yet, though. Can't quite figure out how to do that, so I guess we'll just get some planes in the air and <laughs> drop the bombs on these freighters just do it that way I don't know if maybe I can click on them and do it that way nope so we'll just start start firing on these guys with some HE shells came pretty close on that first shot we're going to start getting our bombers in the air here in a second. Next turn we'll start dropping bombs. Almost unfair, but hey, I don't mind. This is where the sub would have actually come in pretty handy. We could have taken these guys out. We only need one or two of these shells to land. That should do it. Oh yeah, that should do it. How did you not sink? Those were 16 inch HE shells. There you go. Here comes number two. Eh, that's good target practice. Oh, he does have an aircraft. Okay. Good for him. Doesn't matter, but good for him. Ah, we didn't quite hit in the middle, though. Let's go for that one. Ah, uh, could we get lucky on the first shot? Maybe. There's only one, but it hit dead center. Certainly wrecked him. Alright, let's try this again. That one did pretty good, so we just need to, need to get him in the right place. No anti aircraft this time. Oh, glorious. Bye-bye. They don't like to die right away, do they? It just takes them a second. This guy... This guy's somehow still afloat. Of course, this... I don't know who this is over here, but they're still not quite under either. How is that one the one that's still afloat? That's fascinating to me. Oh, a little too long that time. I guess bombs are going to have to do it if he doesn't just sink on his own first. Which he surprisingly is not. How are you alive? This just almost feels like, I don't know, a war crime.
There we go. All right, on to the next mission. That was fun. 89,000 tons sunk that time. My goodness. All right, so what does that take us to next? We're going to see another Bismarck or something. we got 197,000 available renown. That's crazy. Another Bismarck. Okay. Interesting. So what do we do here? Do we take the overwhelming firepower that I have available to me? I think we'll take Nelson out for a spin. Nelson hasn't had a, a job to do for a few missions now. So we'll take Nelson, Victorious, and Courageous. Let's do um, two carriers this time. A little snowfall. Oh, boy. One carrier's out front, though. Not a fan of that. Bismarck could light that carrier up in a hurry. 13-7. Nelson, you get your chance at the Bismarck. Way short. Alright, let's turn away from these guys as quickly as we can. Get some planes in the air. Bombers, yes. Oh, we got a actual, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. That is not what I thought I had there. I didn't realize we had that kind of airstrike going on. I guess it makes sense because it said airstrike and not that. So, all right, let's do an airstrike, shall we? Let's go after the Bismarck. Come in from this side. So this is a is this a high level bomber? No, this is a, a dive bomb. No, it's a high level bomber. So it'll be interesting to see how my aim was on this. Uh, way off, way off. I needed to drop those way sooner. wasn't even close, but that would have been brutal if I would have hit him. Bismarck firing right into the sun and oh going after my carrier Oof, that's bad mm. am I gonna be able to launch planes with a fire on the deck like that it's a good thing I didn't have the planes on the deck oh boy the fact that they put the carrier out front like that just drives me nuts. Because I never would have come into battle with my carrier out front like that. Alright, 13-7. Last time was way short. We're closer now. 14-9 seems like it might be decent. Uh, a little long. We got one hit. Oh, the damage is bad. We're going to lose this carrier. This is courageous, too. Uh, that's our, our first carrier that we had. So now what we want to do is we want to... Get some bombers in the air. Air operations suspended because I got a fire on the deck. Darn it. I was afraid of that. We're going to lose that carrier. That's okay. Not a huge deal. Oh, yeah. Bismarck just lit that carrier up. They're done. Should have never been out front like that. His elite gunnery just took it down. There goes Courageous. Didn't even get my planes off. Okay. 
thirteen seven. Pretty good. A couple hits, still kind of long though. Uh, hate seeing that carrier going down. Get the planes in the air. Hopefully they start firing on Nelson now. Hmm, that's a lot of firepower. We're gonna knock out those guns on Bismarck. He's gonna come around and get some torpedoes at me. I can see it already. I need to turn Nelson so I can get that third turret firing. Let's go this way. Oh, bye-bye. Courageous. Let's try and get at his A and B turrets if I can. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to try to drop these bombs right on his C and D turrets. If I can. Not quite accurate. There we go. Let's try that. All right, I might be on the turrets. Might be a little behind. Ah! I gotta aim further up before I start my dive. All his turrets are still accurate. They're still active. And I still don't quite have my third turret in position. Okay. Now we should be able to get nine shots on this guy. He's taken some pretty good damage from those shots. Uh, propulsion and steering mostly, though. I want to I wanna nail these forward turrets if I can. Not quite. A little short. Okay, here we go again. This time... We put the target up there. Gotta wait a little longer to dive. No! Darn it! I was just about to start my dive, too. All right, Bismarck, we're getting in pretty close here. Ah, overshot. Darn it. Here we go again. Stay alive. Holy cow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought Bismarck wasn't supposed to have very good anti-aircraft defense. 
Ugh. Maybe it was the torpedoes. I mean, we had really good luck with torpedoes. He seems to be doing pretty well against the bombers. Taking some damage here? Oh, we have taken quite a bit of damage, actually. And Nelson's got five stars, so this is like, you know, one of my most experienced ships here. We do not want to lose them. Come on. Give me a big hit. Uh, short. I gotta nail the Bismarck here. Come on, stay alive, baby, stay alive. Got gun shy again. They're gonna be dropping on the wrong spot. Ah! Uh, shot down two in a row, so now I got worried that he was gonna take him out. Oh, oh, Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Mm. And if he takes out Nelson, then he's got free reign to come after my carrier. Did I lose? I lost my A turret. Darn it. And my B turret's damaged. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. I got one turret firing. Oh, <laughs> brutal. Yikes. Not a good day for the Royal Navy at all. Come on, baby. I missed. Ah, got a little closer, but I still didn't take out a turret. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna finish off Nelson. There goes Nelson. Ah This mission is not ending well. That was a five-star experience crew. I just lost. My two Two of my most experienced ships I've lost, and now I'm going to lose a brand new carrier. Oh, boy. Unless I get really lucky and take out Bismarck. Oh, Nelson. Oh, Nelson. A sad day. Oh boy, this is bad. Bismarck doesn't even look like they're really suffering too much. We're just gonna have to wait as long as possible. There we go. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Those are the hits I needed earlier. Still got all four turrets and they're coming after the carrier now. Oh boy. And now the deck's on fire, which means I'm not going to recover my planes. I've only got two left. Run away! 
I know we can't really, but still. All right, Bismarck. Now you're taking some damage, but still. All right. I need to hit him on the other side. Got to make these bombs count. Gonna be the last ones I get off. Uh, coming in too far behind again. Go down. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, boy. I got one bomber left. If we can get that fire put out, I might be able to recover my planes, but I've got a couple of turns now where I'm not going to be able to do anything to these last two ships. Now, if I get really lucky, I should be able to sink this guy with one. It's a light cruiser. That should do it. Yes! No? No. Ugh. Didn't hit him with enough bombs. Alright, come on guys. Let's get this fire put out. I don't think I can recover my planes as things stand. Nope, I can't. Okay. I've got four and a half inch AP shells. That might, might do something against this guy. I have no idea the angle to do it at, though. <laughs> Not that angle. Get the fires put out, please. I could finish these guys. Oh, he's got a torpedo in the water. Of course he does. I can outrun it, though. Alright, 7.1 was obviously way off. Now we're getting an idea of where to fire. Way long. Yeah, I see him. I think I can outrun him. Hey now. I got my fire put out. Leave me alone. Don't you start another one. Alright, can we recover these planes? Yes. Oof. All right, yeah, I think we're out of range. Don't you start a new fire on my deck. Oh, that was brutal. Oh. That was my island he just blew up. That was an interesting angle to put torpedoes at. He might hit his own ship. Yeah, I don't think I can get these planes in the air right now. <laughs> ah, way too long. You are not hitting me with those torpedoes. Sorry, dude. He turned out of the way of the other ones. Oh. All right. Fires are out again. Don't you hit me. Don't hit me. All right. Let's get these planes in the air. 
Oh, we gotta move first. Bombers in the air. Flight deck out of commission. Alright, so no more planes. Period. Uh, he's going to get me. He's going to get me. No. Oh. Taken down by a couple of light cruisers. This is why I should have brought three battleships to this fight. My pumps are out too, that doesn't help. Hey, that was nice. That is not so nice. Those torpedoes are darn close. One's coming right up in behind me. I didn't think they'd have that kind of range. Oh! I need to turn a little bit to the right here. Alright, I think that torpedo should miss. 8.7 now. Be a little short. It was. Darn it. I should have known better. I did know better. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Wow was that close. Ugh. Come on, baby. Hang on. Hang on. Four point five inch shells just man, I could have taken this guy out so long ago with bombs. If my flight deck wasn't in pieces. Oof. Alright, what's my damage situation here? It's not real bad actually. Come on, come on. Man, not causing enough damage. We gotta hook back around to the left. Oh, it hit me. Oh, I don't think I can take much more of this. What's the damage? Uh, it's not that much worse, I guess. How much damage is he taking is the question. Not a whole lot, really. I just don't think I can do enough damage with 4.5 inch shells. At least I've got those, or else I'd have nothing. Oh, boy. There she goes. All right. Not my finest hour. We sank the Bismarck, did heavy damage to Leipzig and Nuremberg, but we lost Nelson, Courageous, and Victorious. So that's... uh. Actually, still a two-star completion because we took out the big ship. Um, let's look ahead to what's going to be next. We've got a ton of renown. We can easily replace everything we've lost. Uh, it's going to be a Sharn Horse, an Admiral Hipper, and two destroyers. So uh, we'll we'll get refit 
and ready for that next mission, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, use that comment section below. Drop a like if you would, and we'll see you again in a few days with another episode. Thanks for watching.